We will use the Twisted Wave site for the podcasts, and you can get there by going to twistedwave.com. And we're going to pick the online option. So click that, and that will take you to this page, and we need to sign in. When you have the options to sign in, don't fill out this. Don't bother with that. Don't register. Just click sign with sign in with Google. And if you're on a Chromebook, you'll already be signed in. Otherwise, it'll ask you to sign in. Um, here, you just can allow this so that it can access your account. That should be no problem. And here we have um, the list of files. If you had any, they would be here. But we don't have any yet, so we're going to make a new document. The documents on the free account, or I should say the audio files, which it calls a document, can't go over five minutes. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to click New Document. It always pops this up. You can just say OK. And then you should get this editor. Basically, at this point, you should be practiced and ready to go. Then when you click this button, it will start recording. Now, the first time, it will probably ask you for access to the mic. Notice that it's asking me. So I'm going to allow it. When I close this, it will ask me again here. And just be aware that as soon as I allow this, it's going to start recording. So I'm ready for that. I click Allow. And I'm just going to say test one, two, three. This is recording. I'm going to stop it. You, of course, would go through your podcast. If you make a slight mistake, it's easy to edit things, to delete the parts that you don't want. So you could just keep going. Like if you mess up, just pause a second and then start talking again. And this whole time, this can be recording and you'll just fix it later. I'm going to play this. And I'm just going to say test one, two, three. Let's say that I wanted to get rid of that part where I said allow at the beginning. You just highlight it. And I'm pressing the backspace key on my Chromebook. I'd probably press delete on a regular laptop or computer. I'm going to delete that part. You can see it's very easy to edit. I can delete parts here. If I delete something and then I want it back, I can undo it. It's got the basic controls. What you want to do is fix it up when it's the way that you want it. It doesn't have your mistakes in it. Then it is time to save it, and you can just send it to your Google Drive account. That makes it very easy. So I'll pick that. Right here I can name it. So I'm just going to call it Podcast. And then Send to Google Drive. All the other options are fine. It will ask again if you can access the drive, and that's fine. You can allow it. And it sends to drive. Let's go look in our drive account. And sure enough, there it is. It just showed up. If I was in classroom and I had an assignment to turn in, all you have to do is open that assignment, click the Add button, and pick Drive. And then you'll be able to find this file. And you can turn in the audio file right through Google Classroom.